Hello everybody, AJ Ryzik here, and today we're taking a look at another lightweight browser. Today the look is at Slimboat, and if you come over here to my little RAM usage chart right here, and if you've seen some of the previous lightweight uh, browser videos, uh, you know, I've got this chart set up from uh, the, the lightest to the heaviest uh, as far as RAM usage goes, and this is just uh, single browser window or tab open and uh, you can see right here Slimboat I've got it highlighted at 53 megs of RAM so fairly lightweight um, not quite as light as uh, uh, Midori's been my 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 favorite of the lightweight job so far but uh, you know still fairly lightweight and the nice thing has been it has done everything that I've asked of it. You know, it's fairly fast, um, no rendering issues, plays videos, all that kind of stuff. Um, I guess where it kind of lacks if you're comparing it to, say, Chrome or Firefox is it doesn't have all the extensions. But if you just want something that is going to browse the Internet, this may be a good good value for you. So let's, uh, let's take a look at... Uh, Slimboat and see what we got here. Default starting page is a quick launch, uh, you know, speed dial type, very, very similar to what you see in the Opera browser. Um, and as you see, it's pre populated with, uh, you know, a fair number of links. And I'm sure they've got it set up so that, uh, you know, they get a little kickback if you go to Amazon from here or to eBay or whatever. And, you know, since it's a free browser, I can't really knock them for trying to make a few bucks uh, with, with setting this up. It's very easy to set up. Uh, set up the speed dial however you like and you're also not stuck with the default layout if you come up here the little gear icon you can pick the number of rows number of columns do you want a background color a background image however you want to do that so you know we'll just change it to uh, oh I don't know black background and okay and like I said, uh, rows, columns, however, however many quick launches you want to have on here. And then uh, just by clicking the little X button there, you can get rid of one of the quick, quick launches. And you can populate it with whatever it is that you want to put in its place. Up here at the top, we've got most of the features that you've come to expect in a modern browser. We've got multiple tabs. You can click the little plus button to add another tab click the X button to get rid of tabs uh, we've got some some quick links here uh, including ones for Amazon eBay that sort of thing uh, if there is a particular website that you uh, you know you know the address to type it right in here or you can come over here to this little search bar and let's say we're looking for something about Linux we can type it in there you, it'll pull up some suggested searches and you can also select from a variety of different uh, search engines and you can also go and uh, you know manage what search engines you use by default that sort of thing in here and then boom go and do our search uh, I found that the searches are, are fairly quick you're not lagging or anything like that and as well as going to the various web pages you know no issues everything's fairly quick um, obviously you're going to have a little bit of, of difference depending on you know where the website is located how how fast the website renders by default and whatnot but uh, you know I as far as speed goes I found it on par with uh, with Chrome and uh, and Firefox through our top menu we have got tons and tons of options here coming over to the file menu we've got most of the stuff that we're used to seeing <clears throat> new window a new session new tab all that sort of thing uh, something a little farther down that I like seeing is this save as PDF I can't say how many times I've wanted to see that feature in another browser and not been able to save something as a PDF I really like having this um, on some browsers you can do the save as and then you'll be given an option as a, uh, to save it as a PDF I, I like having this uh, this save as PDF right here in the main menu uh, just convenient to have under view we can go and tweak 
the look of our of our you know our our style. Um, do we want a window style? Do we want um, plastic GTK clean looks? You know, however you want to set that up. And as well, you can go and tweak what toolbars are shown, what menu bars are shown. Um, do you want side panels uh, for for bookmarks, browser history, all that kind of stuff? Um, you know, just you know, tons and tons of options as far as how you want things to look. Uh, we can do a little bookmark management from here, and then uh, under languages, you can do settings for translations and that sort of thing. Um, let me go down here to tools, and if you come down to options, you can see just the you know you've got a whole slew of different options for setting things up and how you want things to render and running the downloads and uh, you know just tons and tons of options how you want the address bar set up um, font look what fonts you want to use uh, weather settings proxy settings I mean just tons and tons of stuff here ad blocker settings so it, you know it take too long to go through every one individually but you know just looking here you got lots of options so if you're the kind of person that likes to go and customize everything to the nth degree this is probably going to be a good browser for you uh, where was I um, uh, we already talked about we've got some download options um, uh, pop-up blockers ad blocker privacy and um, you know, I like here. You know, in the in privacy, you've got you got a clean trace option, clean address bar, clean the quick search history. You know, lots of options as far as what you want to do uh, as far as privacy goes. Same thing with uh, proxies. Uh, you can set that up uh, to however you like. And then if you've gone and tweaked stuff, and uh, you know, you just l haven't liked what you've done with it, you've got a real nice reset all settings and go all the way back to the default. So what is the browser lacking? Well, not much. Uh, if you're looking at it from the standpoint of moving from Firefox or Chrome uh, slash Chromium, uh, really the only thing that you're missing out on is the extensions, the add-ons, that sort of thing. From the standpoint of the browser itself, you're not missing anything. Um, you know, it is. It has the speed. It renders everything correctly. At least everything that I went to rendered correctly. You know, I played YouTube videos. I went to a couple other video sites, played videos. Uh, downloads are fine. Uh, you know, all of the what I would consider core browsing functions are there, and they work well. Where you're lacking is you know all that extra stuff and you know to be honest a lot of time the extra stuff that we add you know you may think that you really need that extension and whatnot and soon you have bloated your browser with so many extensions that uh, uh, you've got this slow turtle that uh, takes forever to render web pages or you know it uses four or five gigabytes of RAM so that it can run all these extensions and and, and whatnot that you've added so um, when it comes down to it this has probably been one of the best browsers that I've used where uh, you know it does everything it does it quickly um, but doesn't have all of the fluff and extras of Firefox Chrome slash Chromium and on that note I think that about finishes up the video I know it hasn't been real long there wasn't you know you know not a whole lot to talk about it just uh, you know no issues it did everything I asked of it and doesn't have a whole lot of fluff a uh, fair number of, uh, of options for configuring it so uh, all around real good browser definitely uh, take a look at it um, 
I will leave a link for the Slim Boat homepage, and if you are on a Ubuntu-based distribution, you can go there and download the Debian file and install it uh, that route. If you are on a Arch-based distribution, it is in the AUR, so you can uh, you can go there and uh, and download it and install it and whatnot. Uh, and as always, if you like the video, give us a big old thumbs up and uh, leave comments, questions, all that kind of stuff down below. And uh, I will see you all on the next video. Thanks a lot and see you then.